Hey, here's a little tutorial going out to Lyricsist um, who is asking about the directional attack uh, movement. Uh, how to do a directional attack. So basically if you're going forward, it does a forward attack. You're going backwards, it do, does a different attack. Left and right. Actually reverse that. Left and right. <laughs> so depending on which way your character is pressing, it'll execute a different different directional attack. Now my animations are pretty janky, so please please pay no attention to that. Nothing's working quite right in terms of weapon rotation and stuff. <laughs> but uh, how to create the directional attacks is actually pretty easy in the way that I've done it. So here's my input axis for moving forward and backward. Here's my input axis for moving left and right. Um, so all I've done here is uh, create, uh, rather set a variable which is determined by the movement axis. So right initially uh, I set something, I set a variable uh, fb axis value and down here I also do right left axis value. So here we got forward back left axis value. And now I know the axis value is going to be either 1 or minus 1, right, because that's in your uh, that's in your in your key binds. Now that might be a little bit different depending on how you have your axis value set up, but that's just your axis mapping stuff, right? So you've got your plus one or minus one, moving forward, moving backward, moving left, moving right. So right, plus one, minus one, right? So depending on if the axis, uh, depending on if the uh, uh, value is forward, which is one, I go ahead and I just set like a named variable over here. You can set it however you want. It's just for easy remembrance, for easy remem remembering, easy memorying. I think that's the word. <laughs> uh, I go ahead and set forward. I go ahead and set back. And then I go ahead and I set right. And I go ahead and I set left. So then once I have those variables set, I actually just have a really simple switch on name. Uh, so this is the sword attack move, for example. And if the attack direction, which is, like I say, set right here, the attack direction, if the attack direction is forward, back, left, or right, it'll play a different animation depending on which direction was last pressed. And then, of course, uh, all it is is just a little montage play for the different uh, different act attack directions. So, yeah, hopefully that was helpful. Um, like I say, it's just if the character's you know, last movement is forward, it'll go forward. If the character's current movement is left, it'll go left. If it's currently right, it'll go right. If it's currently back, it'll go back. If it's forward left, it'll go left. If it's forward right, it'll go right. Now, I'm actually going to implement some forward right, back left sort of combo moves, but I don't have those set up yet. Right now, it's just forward, back, left, and right. So yeah, I hope you found that tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm uh, happy, to make, uh, happy to make tutorials and teach you what little I know. And believe me, it is only a little bit because <laughs> I just, just started learning, all, learning Unreal a couple months ago. So yeah, anyway.